Good evening. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the class and thank you so much for joining. Good evening. Okay. Thank you so much for waiting. I was just completing some updates here and I'm going to share the screen with you. Ya les comparto la pantalla. So thank you. Ayer nos quedamos acá. Ya vamos a seguir con esta parte de Can Can't. De mi momentito que siento que casi no se... Bye. Veamos esta cosa de la cámara. No la encuentra, dice. Vamos a ver hoy. Ahí está. <laughs> ok, so tenemos Ken and Kent, ¿verdad? And today is your last class, pero hoy es su última clase del, de principiantes 2. Así que eh, thank you very much, right, for, um, you know, Attending the class, primero, ¿verdad? A agregarse aquí a la clase y también por, por hacer el esfuerzo. Eh, creo que ayer les dije lo mismo, pero lo digo en serio, o como decimos en inglés, I really mean it. De verdad lo, lo, lo digo. Eh, remember that eh, this is, you know, an effort. Es un esfuerzo. Yo creo que todos tenemos un objetivo, ¿verdad? Tenemos una razón por la que estamos estudiando inglés. Y... Cuando de repente ya no queramos seguir o diga, ay, que no tengo tiempo, no tengo ganas, siempre piense en ese objetivo que usted tiene, ¿verdad? Y la razón por la que dice es que yo quiero aprender. Y pues trate de siempre seguir, ¿verdad? Con, con ese objetivo. Entonces, today we're going to complete, you know, the, the rest of the topics or the information that we have been eh, working with, ¿verdad? And then eh, you have to wait. Va a tener que esperar por la, para las indicaciones, ¿verdad? Que le va a dar ahí administración para su próxima fecha, etcétera, ¿verdad? Lamentablemente, pues, esa información sí no la tengo yo. Pero este, ellos con mucho gusto creo que en su momento le van a decir eh, cuándo inician, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Así que, uh, yesterday we were talking about Ken and Kent. And we learned two things. We learned number one, the pronunciation, ¿verdad? La pronunciación, ¿verdad? How do you pronounce can? Ah, we say can, como lata, ¿verdad? Can, también como nombre sustantivo decíamos que significaba lata. Y luego, ¿cómo pronunciamos la parte negativa? Bueno, decíamos que un tip, o al menos el que nos presentaba ahí, <coughs> El instructor, ¿verdad? It's to um, eh, elong, right? The sound. Ese end sound que tenemos ahí, lo hacemos, lo extendemos un poquito y pues ahí nos alcanza para poder especificar qué es esa parte, que es el, el can't, but in the negative, in the negative form. Eh, también veíamos ayer el uso, ¿verdad? El uso que tiene can't. Eh, Eh, también decíamos que lo usamos para ability. O sea, cuando yo puedo hacer algo. Ability to do something, ¿verdad? Ahí es donde yo uso can. Eh, también lo uso para permisos. Can I open the door? ¿Verdad? Can you help me? ¿Me puedes ayudar? ¿Verdad? Can you explain it to me? ¿Me puedes explicar? ¿Verdad? Entonces, we are going to uh, review the usage. ¿verdad? Ya vamos a ver, revisar bien, bien el uso, ¿ok? Eh, we are right now in 5.7, ¿verdad? And the, the main objective for this one is by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using Ken for ability, right? That's what you have to do, okay? Eh, you have to ask and answer questions using Ken for ability. Para hoy, yo les pedí que ustedes se prepararan oraciones de cosas que pueden y no pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Ya las vamos a compartir en un momento. So we were reviewing this conversation. Estuvimos revisando esta conversación, ¿verdad? Y uh, de aquí sacamos, pues, eh, de contexto algunas oraciones para poder explicar el tema, ¿verdad? And here is where we, where we stop. Aquí nos quedamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, since we are talking about Ken for ability, we were saying that... Um, Whenever, you know, we, we have this, um, this modal verb, porque es un verbo modal, we were saying that we don't have to worry at all. No tenemos que preocuparnos en lo absoluto, ¿verdad? 
en, en, en cambiar un verbo, en modificarlo. No, nada de eso. Can lo vamos a usar siempre a la par de un verbo, ¿verdad? Para poder expresar esas, ese, ese tipo de, de habilidades que, que tengamos o cosas que podemos hacer. Vaya. Eh, antes de continuar, voy a pasar lista, chicos. Denme un momentito. Aquí está. Ok. Eh, Aleita Arely García Martínez. I'm here to share. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Andrea Marcela Olmedo Fuentes. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Ashley Maribel Manzano Reyes. Ashley, está todavía. Byron Leonel Lozano Alvarenga. Christopher David Reyes Mármol. Christopher David Reyes Mármol. Quiero ver si no están aquí en la lista, en el listado de los participantes. No, no está. Eh, David Alejandro Avelar Hernández. David Alejandro Avelar. Elba Marisela Pérez de Mengíbar. Present teacher, eh, estoy a oscura porque se fue la luz en mi casa. Ay, por si no me ve mucho. Qué siento, qué le <risa> siento, bueno. Elba. Bueno. Vaya, pero gracias, oye, por acompañarnos. Ever, ok. Eh, Elba Isabel Zúñiga de Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Ever Alexander Mena Argueta. ¿Cómo está Ever? Ahí está. Ok, thank you, Ever. Eh, Francisco Armando García Florentino. Sí, sí, ya le escuché, Ever. Ya le tomé la asistencia. Thank you, Francisco. Eh, Giovanni David López Molina. Giovanni David López Molina, no está. Eh, Henry Alexander Hidalgo Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Isaac Abdonay Tobar. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Deme un momento. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodríguez Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Joao Mauricio Villalta Sorto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Juana Inés Velázquez Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Vanessa Blanco Umaña. Catherine Vanessa. Linda Hazel Fermán Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marcia Beatriz Reyes de Manzano. Marcia Beatriz. María Beatriz P. Coto de González. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you, good evening. María del Carmen Guzmán Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Melanie Fabiola Cuella Rodríguez. Melanie Fabiola, así ah, ya no viene, ¿verdad? Eh, Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Reina Noemí Vela López. Reina Noemí Vela López. Roberto Carlos Ardón Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Rosibel Esmeralda Laine Salas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Silvia Roxana Quintanilla Umaña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilez Parabona Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Emilia Hernández Escobar. Tatiana Emilia y Verónica Tatiana Chávez Cornejo. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Gracias, chicos. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, continue with the topic. Okay. Now we were saying that whenever we're talking about Ken and Kent, we are talking about uh, ability and that it is a model verb, right? So also in the platform, okay, there is, you know, a clip that puts together the conversation and also the, the, the explanation, right, of this particular topic, okay? Vamos a ver si carga la información, okay? But 
how can I explain this? Well, so if I say I can play the piano, I'm saying that I, I have the ability to do that, right? Then it says, can you open the door, please? I can play the piano. Can you open the door, please? Okay. So whenever we're using can, we're going to use it with the base form, okay? For example, I can do, I can play, I can come and help you, etc. ¿Verdad? Esta parte de acá, ¿verdad? Les está mostrando to, to, o sea, las, las tres formas que tenemos. La forma afirmativa, la forma negativa y la parte de las preguntas. ¿Ok? So, I can play the piano. I can do yoga. But I can't see the movie. I can't help you with that. ¿verdad? Entonces, si es negativa, usamos can. Si es, negat si es positivo, usamos can. Si es negativo, usamos can't o cannot. La forma completa. Cuando hago la pregunta, hay un switch. ¿Verdad? Hay un cambio. Entonces, el subject pasa a segunda, la segunda posición y el modal verb can pasa al inicio, pasa a la primera posición, ¿ok? Can you do yoga? Can you play the piano? Can you see the movie? Can you help me with the homework? Etc. Right? So there you have like, like the, like the um, digamos, la fórmula de los elementos o la, el orden de los elementos como usted los necesita. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver, vamos a recortar acá esto. Se los voy a compartir. Deme un momento. Eh... Que estoy viendo que en otros lados llovió bastante, ¿verdad, chicos? Pero hoy, hoy por aquí no llovió. O sea, llovió, pero llovió temprano. In my house, it's raining now, teacher. Oh, really, Roberto Carlos? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Aquí lo llovió temprano, pero ya yo, yo estaba preocupada por la clase, pero no. Media vez empecé mis clases de la tarde noche y ya se fue la lluvia. Estaba así como si esté lloviendo así, bien suavecito. Okay, very good. So, what other sentences can we get from there? Well, let's have some uh, sentences here. Okay, Let, let's read some sentences, I'm sorry. So I can do something, y aquí fue donde me quedé, ¿verdad? I know how to do it, or it is possible for me to do it, right? So if I say, for example, I can swim, so that means that I know how to do it. Ah, when I was a little girl, I used to go to swimming classes. Ah, ok, entonces fuiste a clase de natación. Yes, so I can swim. So that means I know how to do it. ¿Verdad? Sandra can speak Italian, but she can't speak Spanish. Ah, ok, so she knows how to speak Italian. Why? Ah, because Sandra lived in Italy for uh, 10 years. Vivió ahí 10 años and she she learned Italian, right? She learned to speak Italian. Oh, okay, perfect. So Sandra can speak Italian, but she can't speak Spanish, right? Now, the question, can you swim? Yes, but I'm not a very good swimmer, right? Can you change a, a $20 bill? Hmm. La típica pregunta en la tienda, ¿verdad? Me cambia ese billete de 20. <laughs> okay, can you change a $20 bill? I'm sorry, I can't. También la típica respuesta que usted va a obtener, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, a menos que usted deba, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí van a aprovechar. Okay, can you change a $20 bill? I'm sorry, I can't, right? So I, I, I can't. I don't have, you know, cash. Entonces, cuando me preguntan a mí, can you change a $20 bill? Me están preguntando, is it possible, you know, for you to do it? ¿Será posible que usted pueda hacer esto? ¿verdad? Is it possible for you to do it? So can you change a $20 bill? I'm sorry, I can't. Why? Because I don't have cash. No tengo ahorita moneda ni, ni efectivo, ¿verdad? I'm having a party next week, but Eric and Rachel can't come. So it's not possible for them to, 
to, to go to my party. No, no es posible para ellos llegar, tienen otro compromiso. So it is not possible for them to get. Entonces, cuando pensemos en can, pensemos en estas dos cosas. I know how to do it or is it possible for me to do it? Okay. Entonces, I'm going to share this with you para que ahí encapsulemos las dos ideas, ¿verdad? Que quiero proponer. And over here, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos ya haciendo preguntas. Cuando hacemos preguntas, chicos, eh, tenemos, este, digamos, este, este dos, tipo, dos tipos de usos, ¿ok? So we use can you when we speak or when we ask people to do things. For example, hey, can you turn on your camera? Puede encender su cámara. Can you... Um, Uh, can you bring two sentences tomorrow? ¿Puede traer dos oraciones mañana? Sí, sí puedo, ¿verdad? Um, hey, can you um, pass me the salt? Me pasa la sal, ¿verdad? Can you help me with my homework? Entonces, when you ask or when we use can you, we ask people to do things. Le pedimos a la gente que haga cosas, ¿ok? Can you open the door, please? Can you wait a minute, please? ¿Verdad? When we use can I have, right? We use can I have to ask for something. Cuando yo estoy pidiendo algo, por ejemplo, especialmente algún objeto o cosas de comida, ¿verdad? Can I have a glass of water, please? Me puede dar un vaso con agua, ¿verdad? Eh, también preguntamos si está bien hacer algo o no. Por ejemplo, esa última pregunta que está ahí, ¿verdad? Can I sit? Can I sit here? Me puedo sentar aquí. Or is it okay if I sit here? Está bien que me siente acá. Entonces, eh, those are the three different, you know, options that we have to ask for questions, ¿verdad? Para hacer las preguntas, okay? Now, coming back, regresándome a la parte, ¿verdad? De 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 de, de Kent, voy a poner Hoy sí, el video completo para que podamos revisar eh, la parte de Ken. Y luego pues nos, nos seguimos ya con la parte de ejercicios y la parte final que incluye vocabulario y reading. ¿okay? Entonces vamos a ver el video y luego pues vamos a la resolución de ejercicios. Oh, déjeme asegurarme que esté compartiendo el sonido. There we go. Examples on this chart. Can for ability. I'm going to play the whole video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use 
can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Now the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Okay, and I'm going to stop the video there because you already watched it. But what I want to focus is uh, on the structure, right? So same thing, lo mismo que yo les compartí hace un momento, right? We need a subject, we need the modal verb can or can't, we need the verb, y recordemos que este verb que está acá es en su forma base, is in base form, and then we need a complement, right? I'm going Let's to was here, okay, voy a traer para acá. And now we're going to continue. Take a look at this at the at the at the exercises that we have, you know, on screen. So uh, it says, ask John if he can do these things. ¿Verdad? Vamos a preguntarle a John si él puede hacer las cosas. Veamos ahí from one to six. ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera pregunta, chicos? Vean la imagen uno. So what would be the first question? La primera pregunta, ¿cómo, cómo le, le preguntaría? Dígame, Isabel. Can you, see, can you swim? Muy bien, excellent. Can you swim? Muy bien. What about question number two? What would be question number two, guys? Eh, Joao. Una consulta. ¿Y cómo sería la palabra esquiar? Esquí. Esquí, muy bien. Uh, can, you, can you ski? Muy bien, exactly. Can you ski? Can you ski? Very good. Excellent. Okay. What about number three? Volunteer for number three? Number three? Henry. Can you play chess? Muy bien, exactly. Can you play chess? Very good, okay. What about number four? Eh, Joao? Can you run? Mm, repeat the question. Can uh -huh. you run? Can you run? Ahí sí, muy bien. Y ahora solo le vamos a agregar ajá, esos tres kilo, esos diez kilómetros, ¿verdad? Can you run 10 kilómetros? ¿Verdad? Can you run 10 kilómetros? Muy bien. Eh, number five, Isaac. Y number six, Jacqueline. Can you drive a car? Muy bien. Can you drive or can you drive a car? Jacqueline. I don't know that, but I, I think that is, uh, can you ride a, a horse? Muy bien, correcto. Can you ride a horse, right? Can you ride a horse? Now, it is asking you, right, for you to uh, tell us your sentences. Aquí está la parte en donde yo quería que ustedes pues trajeran esas oraciones ya hechas acerca de las cosas que ustedes pueden y no pueden hacer. Ok, entonces, si prepararon esa, esas oraciones, please raise your hand and we're going to take turns, ok, to, to say our sentences, ¿verdad? So, please, eh, raise your hand, si hizo sus oraciones eh, con Ken and Kent, puede compartirlas. No vaya a bajar la manita hasta que las haya dicho, ok, Joao. 
I can play basketball. Mm -hmm. I can dance. Muy bien, excellent, very good, ¿ok? Hoy, eh, hoy, hoy se la digo con quién, no, no, o solo esa, está bien. No, 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 ¿cómo no? ¿Cuántas me trajo? Okay. Four. Uh, tres de cada uno. Ah, pues excelente, dígamelas. Uh, la otra sería con, usando qué, sería I can drive car. Uh -huh. La, uh, uh, using can, can, I can dance the chat. I can't. Dance bachata, ok. Sí. I can drive motorcycle. I can ride. Ahí sería sin la D. I can ride a motorcycle. Right, right. Uh -huh. right. Uh, right. Ok, gracias. Y uh, I can repair uh, cars. I can fix or repair. ¿Verdad? Cualquiera ah, okay. de las dos. Puede usar fix. fix or repair. Cars. No, mejor fix. I can fix cars. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job, Joao. Thank you so much. Isaac. Mm -hmm. Okay. Este, I can drive a car, but I can drive a plane. Mm -hmm. I can eat a cake, but I can cook it. Cook it. Cook it. Cook aunque, it, it. perdón, aunque en este caso, como es un cake, Sería bake, el, el, el verbo sería bake, hornearlo, ¿verdad? I can eat a cake, but I can't uh -huh. bake it. But I can bake it. Bake it, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. I can swim, but I can jump high. Jump high, ok, muy bien. ¿Solamente? Sí, ¿verdad, Isaac? Yes. Vaya, eh, Verónica, what about you? Thank you, Zach. I can um I can play soccer, but now I now I can cannot uh because I don't have time. Okay, muy bien. I can play soccer, but now I can't because I don't have time. Muy bien. Any other sentence? Um, that's it, teacher. Be very good, uh, Veronica. Thank you. Stephanie, what about you? Um, yes. mm, uh, I can. Mm -hmm. I can play chess or chess. I have from. Es chess. Mm -hmm. Chess. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can paint with acrylic, but I can eh, este, no sé cómo se diría acuarela. Ah, muy bien. I can pay. I can paint with acrylics, but I can't paint with watercolors. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to um, have I, here. Uh -huh. I can't. I can play the piano, and I can drive a car. Muy bien, excellent, ok, mm -hmm. very good, watercolors son las acuarelas, muy bien. Eh, Jacqueline, what about you? Ok, uh, so, some things that I can do are, uh, I can cook, mm -hmm. also I can use the computer, um, besides, uh, I can paint. Actually, uh, I love painting and only that. Very good, excellent, Jacqueline. Okay, keep on, keep on on your on your on your hobby. No deje de pintar. Es lo que yo siempre le digo a mi hija. Uh, I I I I save. Um, yo guardé, guardé uh, dibujitos since she was a baby, right? Porque le encantaba agarrar papel y lápiz. Entonces se lo llevo así como una secuencia. Y, and, and the idea is, Jacqueline, that you do not stop. La cosa es no parar porque en un momento va a ir tomando su estilo. Y así entre más lo, lo practique todos los días, you become good at it. Usted se convierte en, en alguien muy bueno, en, ya sea en la técnica que utilice. Así que, good, keep on, no se rinda. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Henry, what about you? Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> I can play basketball. I can ride a bike. Mm 
-hmm. and I can draw very very well. Mm -hmm. Draw. Draw, yes. Uh, but I can't play the guitar. Mm -hmm. I can't play football, and I can't swim. You can't swim, me neither. <laughs> you don't poco, okay? Very good, excellent, Henry. Yes, I have always thought. Thank you. Yo siempre he pensado, digo, hey, pero y si necesita, y si necesito eso, right? So, and yeah, I can't. I can't swim, but I say one day I'm going to learn, okay? Eh, they say it's not that difficult, pero pues yo creo que entre uno más adulto va, ¿verdad? Más cuestan las, ese, ese tipo de cosas, ese tipo de habilidades, pero vamos a ver, algún día nos vamos a animar. So, very good job, guys. What about the rest? ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir las oraciones que preparó para esta clase? ¿Nadie? Bye, entonces vamos a continuar, ¿ok? Now, let's go ahead and complete these sentences. What do we need? Well, we need can or can't. Okay, plus one of the verbs. Okay, you have come, find, hear, see, and speak. Okay, so we have five verbs. I'm going to give you three minutes. Okay, three to four minutes for you to complete them. Vaya, voy a poner uno, uno de cuatro minutos. So you can complete it. Si termina antes, me avisa, okay? So here you have the sentences. And... Let me know if you're finished first. Okay, avíseme si termina antes. Okay, Henry, thank you. Bye. Hay some algunos que dicen que ya terminaron. Muy bien, let's go ahead and check the answers, okay? We have the first one. Volunteer for sentence number one. Volunteer. Henry, please. 
<clears throat> I'm sorry, but we can't come to your party next Saturday. Very good, right? I'm sorry, but we can't. So I there's no possibility. Muy bien. What about number two? Uh, Jacqueline. I like this hotel room. You can see the mountain from the window. Very good. You can see the mountain, right? The mountain from the window. Muy bien. What about number three, Isabel? You are speaking very quickly. Quietly. Quietly. I can I can hear you. Very good. I can't hear you. Uh, number four, right? Number four is Stephanie. Have you seen my bag? Mm -hmm. I can find I can find it. Okay, have you seen my bag? Whoops. I can find it. No, I'll be sad, right? I can't find it. Okay. And the last one, number five. Mm -hmm. Volunteer for number five. Isabel. Ah, bueno, Verónica, es que Isabel tiene la mano levantada. Okay. Eh, Verónica, tell me. Okay, Catherine go to the job because she can speak five languages. Muy bien, because she can speak five languages, right? Muy bien. Aquí el contexto nos decía si la oración era afirmativa o si era negativa. Bye. Ahora vamos a usar las preguntas, okay? Vamos a ver. It says complete these sentences. Use can or can't plus the verbs in parentheses, okay? So, take a look at the first one. Vamos a usar can you, ¿verdad? If I have the verb opened, me, vengo con la, lo, 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 los libros o lo que sea lo que sea que traigo, ¿cuál es la pregunta que le está haciendo ella al chico? Verónica. You can open the door, please. No. Pero si yo digo you can't, estoy, mm -hmm. estoy prácticamente eh, diciendo una forma afirmativa, perdón, una versión afirmativa. Si yo le quiero preguntar, Verónica, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer? Can you? Muy bien. Ahora dígame toda la pregunta de un solo. Can you open the door, please? Muy bien. Can you open the door, please? Bye. Okay. What about number two, Henry? No bajen la mano, ahí tengan la verdad. Number two. Can you pass the salt, please? Muy bien. Can you pass the salt, please? Right? Very good. What about number three? Number three, Joao. Can you turn off the red? The red? Mm -hmm. Can you turn off the radio, please? Oh, no. Right? Mm -hmm. Can you turn off the radio, please? What about yeah. number four? Mm -hmm. Number four. Raise your hand. Levanta la mano, okay? Si quiere participar, raise your hand. Falta four, five, and six. Number four, Isaac. Uh, me have fijado. <laughs> el verbo <laughs> lo había usado con otro con el verbo vaya. give me este... vaya pero es algo similar verdad sí, algo ¿verdad? similar uh -huh. oh, can you give me your phone number muy bien esa sería una forma y está correcta can you give me your phone number está perfecta y también la otra forma que es menos la, la que usted me está diciendo Isa que es la más, más más usada esa sería la menos usada pero puedo preguntar can I have your phone number please ¿Verdad? Es como más formal. Can I have your name, please? Can I have your, uh -huh. Can I have your name, please? Can I have your account number, please? Can I have your... Eh, what? Eh, your ID number, ¿verdad? Y puede ser, can you give me también. Can you give me your, your phone number? Eh, number, uh -huh. number five, Isabel. Can you borrow 
and your I said be the and the newspaper. Can you borrow the newspaper? Okay. Solo que cuando yo uso borrow, quien lo pide prestado soy yo. Entonces, ¿cómo mm -hmm. hago la pregunta? I can borrow. Pregunta. Can you borrow? Eh, no. mm. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Se la voy a mostrar. Cuando yo pido mm. algo prestado, ¿verdad? Como can soy yo, ajá, la persona que lo pide prestado es, can I borrow? Puedo mm. tomar prestado, ¿verdad? Can I borrow the newspaper, please? Entonces, ahí es, es comprensible porque Isabel incluía el me. Can you borrow me? Pero en este caso, borrow no toma ese objeto, ¿verdad? No toma un subject pronoun, sino que digo, digo, can I borrow the newspaper, please? Can I borrow five dollars, please? ¿Me, me puedes prestar cinco dólares, verdad? O can, can, can I, um, can you borrow, no, can I borrow, I'm sorry, the, um, the, the book, please, verdad? Luego, number six, eh, Jacqueline. Can I use the pen? Muy bien. Can I use the pen, please? Or your pen, please? Okay. Muy bien. Excelente. Perfecto. Vaya. Después de esto, ya nos vamos pasando aquí al 5.9, que es un knowledge check. Ok. Now, in this knowledge check, if they are asking, uh, they are asking, you know, to fill out the exercise with can or can't. And it will depend on the picture, right? So you have to look at the picture and then you decide if it's can or can't, ¿verdad? So Kyla is talking about things she can and she can't do. Complete the sentences, right? So number one, she says, I can't draw. What about number two? Is it positive or negative? What do you think, positive or negative? Positive. It's positive, right? So I can act. Number three, positive or negative? Positive. Negative. 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 el pobre está tapando los oídos, ¿verdad? Está como, no, no, ya no, ¿verdad? So I can't. Sick, ajá. What about number four? Positive or negative? Positive. Positive, right? I can fix scars. Number five. Positive or negative? Negative. 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 Pues yo lo veo bien fresco. Oh, positive. Uh -huh. positive. Positive. ¿Verdad? Positive. What about number six? Negative. Negative. Negative, right? Number seven? Positive. 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 And number eight? Negative. Negative. Pobrecita, miren, todo el desastre que tiene en la cocina. Okay, good job. So what you have to, what you have to do for that exercise is just to look at the picture and then you decide if it's positive or negative, right? Muy bien. Este es en el 5.9. Bye. So it says write questions and answers about these people. En el caso de Andrew, look at him. There's a smoke here. Hay humo ahí, ¿verdad? There's smoke there. And the question is, can Andrew fix a car? And the answer is, no, he can't, right? Entonces, aquí vamos a usar respuestas cortas. Como las hemos usado con el verbo to be, como las hemos usado con present simple y el resto de los verbos, con el, do you have a car? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she live in San Salvador? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Lo mismo pasa con Ken, ¿verdad? Porque cuando yo hago preguntas, puedo usar las respuestas cortas. Short answers, ¿ok? What about question two? Volunteer? For question two? Chris and Nick, what is the action? ¿Ok, Henry? Can Chris and Nick swim? Muy bien. And what is the answer? Yes, he can. They, porque son dos, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Can Chris and Nick swim? Yes, they can. Muy bien. What about Kenji? 
What about Kenji? What is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Hey, Jacqueline? Can, can he do yoga? Muy bien. Can Kenji do yoga? And what is the answer? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Definitely, right? So can Kenji do yoga? Yes, he can't. What about number four? About Juliet? Number four. Eh, ever. Can Julie cook? Mm -hmm. Muy bien. And the answer is? <laughs> no, he can't. No, she can't. <laughs> no, she can't, right? Todo se le quemó, ¿ok? Can Juliet cook or can Juliet bake? Cualquiera de las dos está correcta. No, she can't. Muy bien. What about this one, number five? Erica, right? What about Erica? What is the question and what is the answer? Stephanie. Can Erica play the violin? Can Erica play the violin? Very good. What is the answer? Yes, she can. Do you think she can't? Look at her face. Look at the symbols. I is no, no, she can't. No, she can't. Right? She's trying like to, you know, try to. Uh, she's trying to learn how to play the piano, the 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 violin. What about Natasha? What would be the last question? How can we ask about that activity? Jacqueline. Can Natasha ride a horse? Very good. Can Natasha ride a horse? And the answer is? Yes, she can. Yes, she can, right? It seems that she's good at it. Parece que es buena en eso, okay? Now, let's go ahead and continue with one more exercise about cerca de este, ¿verdad? So, we have here eh, the first example, que estas son parecidas a las que ustedes iban a traer este día, en donde contrastan algo que sí pueden hacer con algo que no pueden hacer, ¿verdad? So, she can play the guitar, but she can't play the piano. Okay, so we have one thing they can do and one thing they can't or that they cannot do. Okay, what about number two? What do you think is the answer for number two? Joao? He can uh, sing. He can sing, okay. He can sing, but mm -hmm. he, can, he can't dance. Okay, muy bien, so... He can sing, but he can't dance. Muy bien. What about number three, guys? Number three? Henry. She can play soccer. She can play soccer, but, but. she can't play golf. Muy bien. Thank you, Henry. Let me see. She can play soccer, but she can't play golf, okay? What about number four? Volunteer for number four. Volunteer for either? She can, she can play, ride bike, bike? Ride a bike. He can ride a ride bicycle. A mm -hmm. He can ride a bicycle, but I can't, but I, he can ride. Bien, he can ride a bicycle or he can ride a bike, but he can't drive o he can't drive a car. Las dos opciones están correctas. Muy bien, okay? Excellent. I'm going to share this one with you. Le voy a compartir este también. Este es un ejemplo de cuando contrastamos, ¿verdad? Algo que sí podemos con algo que no podemos hacer. Give me one moment. Aquí está. Okay. 
Eh, let me see. No, este no lo vamos a terminar. No lo vamos a hacer porque es, es otro. Y voy a ir finalizando con dos secciones que tenemos acá. Una es el vocabulario y la otra es el reading que tenemos. So in 5.10, right, Uh, we have an objective, and in that objective, it says by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Okay, so here we have, you know, a list. Tenemos una lista. Lo vamos a ir organizando. Okay, so we have here uh, four different categories. We have <clears throat> musical or artistic. We have technical or mechanical. We have athletic. And we have other, okay? And as you can see in the center of the four categories, we have abilities and talents, okay? So it says complete the word map with abilities and talents from the list. So number one, it's already there. Ya tenemos la número uno, bake a cake. Bake a cake belongs to other, you know, to the other category, right? What about design a web page? Pueden abrir sus micrófonos, okay? Design a web page? Is technical or mechanical? Technical or mechanical. Te yeah, technical or mechanical, because we're talking about designing okay. a web page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Design. Uh, what about do gymnastics? Athletic. 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 Fix a car? Technical or mechanical. 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 Muy bien, technical or mechanical. Eh, fix a motorcycle. Technical or mechanical. What about paint pictures? Musical or artistic. Muy bien, play chess. Athletic? Mm. Athletic? Oh, other. Other. Other, other. Other, ¿verdad? Other. Sí, porque athletic es it's, it's an exercise for the brain, ¿verdad? Es para el cerebro, pero en, lo vamos a poner en other. Eh, play the violin? Musical. Music. Musical or artistic. Ride a horse? Athletic. 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 Okay. Sing English songs. Music. Musical or artistic? Artistic? Yeah, artistic. Art artistic, okay. Yeah. Third? Athletic. 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 Okay. And tell good jokes. Other. Other, right? Okay. Take what is this? Decir buenos chistes. Contar buenos chistes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Contar buenos no. chistes. Very, Very good. good. Mm -hmm. Well, now, right, those are like the different abilities, uh, abilities vocabulary that we found there. Obviously, right, hay más, okay, but you can add more. Puede, ahí puede usted agregar unas cuantas más a la lista. Then the last exercise that we have is the following. It says, by the end of this class, you will read, read I'm sorry, and discuss an article about four unique American races. You will also develop skills in reading for specific information. Y la verdad es que sí, el ejercicio busca... Eh, Respuestas bien puntuales, okay? So I need four volunteers to read the four different, you know, uh, sections of the article. It says, race the U.S., right? How many different kinds of races can you think of? Read about four unique American races, right? So here we have four different uh, uh, sections. Y vamos a comenzar. Eh, Verónica, Tatiana, please. Okay, Seems the story of New York series, Empire State Building, in the Empire State Building run up. The claim is um, I don't know. Repeat. The climb. The climb is is one thousand fifty. 1015 feet feet um 300 three mirrors 
320 meters. Okay. And AT6 first. Mm -hmm. Or 1,575 steps. Mm -hmm. And winner can reach the top in youth 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Muy bien. Thank you so much. Okay. The climb, the umpire state. Muy bien. What about number two, Jacqueline? Take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California. Irving. Irving. Mm -hmm. Okay. California to Savannah, Georgia, cross the entire uh, USA in this 2,900 mile and 4,600. Uh, 67 mm -hmm. kilometer mm -hmm. bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts mm -hmm. for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racer, racers can sleep only about three, hour, three hours each day. Thank you very much, uh, Jacqueline. Good job with the numbers. Uh, Henry, number three. Race on the ex exciting white waders of the Arkansas River in the in the Down River race. Winners complete the twenty five point seven miles, forty one point five kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest Down River race in the U.S. One person, one boat. Take the challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I think the pronunciation is Arkansas, right? Without the S at final. Arkansas River, sin la S. And what about number four? Number four? Volunteer for number four? Uh, Jacqueline. Can I read again? Yes, you can. Claro que sí. Um, only possible in Alaska. The Itarod sled dog race. Race from downtown and charge. No sé cómo se pronuncia. To know over 1,105. 50 miles and one 1850 kilometers kilometers throughout cold wine and snow uh, winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive receive cash prize wow that's that's a good one right they receive cash prices okay very good excellent now let me go ahead and see uh esa pron la pronunciación de esta palabra y de porque quiero ver eh, word reference vamos a ver en word reference es que ayer la busqué y no me apareció pero let me see if i can find it here Editera. No, no aparece en ninguna. De hecho, para poderla encontrar, la tuve que buscar en YouTube. Yes, uh, yeah, I, I did her all. I did her all. I did her all. I did her all. Right, that's how you pronounce it, okay? Este es un sitio web que ustedes lo pueden usar cuando 
cuando tienen preguntas sobre cómo se pronuncia algo. Entonces, este sitio web, perdón, este canal pone eh, clips, ¿verdad? De, 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 de a veces presentaciones o entrevistas, etc. Entonces, eh, le voy a compartir acá, ¿verdad? El clip para que ustedes lo escuchen. How to pronounce a Diderot. Right? It's a difficult one, but ahí está y se los compartí. Ok. Muy bien. Ahora contestemos, ¿verdad? Empire State Building Run Up. What is the place, guys? What is the New, place? New York City. New York City. Muy bien. Pueden New activar sus micrófonos. No hay problema. Distance. Okay. Uh -huh. One thousand fifty feet. Okay, one thousand fifty feet or three hundred twenty meters. Muy bien. What about the winning times? Ten to uh, ten, ten to eleven. Uh, eleven. Eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. Muy bien. Ten to eleven. Right. Race across America. Where does it Georgia. take place? Okay. Savannah, Georgia. Muy bien. Toma lugar en Irving, California, to, so from Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. O sea, prácticamente es cruzar todo el país, ¿verdad? Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. What is the distance? 2,900 miles, right? 2,900 miles or 4,667 kilometers. 4,667 kilometers. Muy bien. Okay. Muy bien, right? The winning times is from 8 to 10 days. What about the down river race? North Carolina. North Carolina. Arkansas, right? Arkansas River. Arkansas right? River. And the distance? 25.7 miles. miles. Muy bien, okay, or 41.5 kilometers, two right? Hours, what about winning time? Ah, yeah, uh -huh. muy bien, two yeah, hours, they had them. What about Idy <laughs> Terror sled dog race? In Alaska. Alaska. From Anchorage to? Anchorage. Nome in Alaska, right? The distance? Um, one thousand one hundred and fifty miles. Sixty miles. Muy bien. What about the winning times? Nine to twelve days. Okay. Well, guys, ahí terminamos, verdad? Y pues el examen final ustedes ya lo habían completado, no habían preguntas, así de que I'm going to pass the attendance, voy a pasar la lista y ahí finalizamos. Solo de mi momento. De los que no me contestaron está acá eh, Ashley Maribel Manzano Reyes. Se enferma, teacher, no pudo asistir hoy. Ay, que lo siento. Bueno, ojalá que se mejore. Okay. In the okay. Yes. Christopher David Reyes Marmor. Christopher David Reyes Marmor. No vino hoy tampoco. Eh, David Alejandro Avelar Hernández. David Alejandro. Tampoco. Eh, Giovanni David López Molina. Giovanni David. Tampoco. Eh, Catherine Vanessa Blanco Umaña. Catherine Vanessa, tampoco. Eh, Marcia Beatriz Reyes de Manzano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Reina Noemí Vela López. Tampoco. Y Tatiana Emilia Hernández Escobar. Tampoco. Bye. Entonces aquí me quedo, chicos. Thank you very much, okay, for joining. And I'll see you around, ¿verdad? So... <laughs> What's right? Ever is right and thank you. Okay, nice. Thank you so much, guys. Muchas okay? gracias por todo, teacher. You're thank welcome, you. guys. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, teacher. Muchas gracias, teacher. You're welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
You're very welcome. Cuídense mucho y no dejen de practicar, ok? So, good night, Gracias, guys. Teacher. You're welcome. Good night, teacher. Good night. Gracias por todo. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Next model. Hopefully. Ojalá que sí. Cuídense, chicos. Okay. Hey, por su fondo, Isaac. No me había fijado. I like it. <laughs> Hasta ahorita que dejé de compartir, veo el fondo de Isaac. Nice, I like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you around. Nos vemos por See ahí. You. Cuídense. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.